Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. You know how we do it. We are taking one request per video uploaded, uploading a video seven days a week. And I have to apologize in advance to our next requester. I know I've been keeping this person waiting for an extremely long time, man. I've been seeing this request pop up more than a few times and uh, i've just been waiting for the right opportunity to do it the right time and i think today is the day that request comes from qb the cute little devil and they want to see a chrysler 300 maxed out stock engine dub build now i think this is an absolutely dope idea man chrysler 300 very big fan of those cars man we actually have done one uh, about a month ago now that was a quote hellcat build so for today's build i think it'll be a sick idea to jump into one of these chrysler 300s and throw some nice big chrome wheels on here see what this motor is capable of with the stock aspiration man so as always if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to smash that like button if you guys uh want to see more definitely subscribe to the channel check out some of the playlists also because uh you know we've been uploading videos for quite a while so if there is a car that you guys want to see chances are we've more than likely built something like it or that car but if not, definitely, like I say, drop them down in the comment section, man. We are trying our best to get to every single one of your requests, man. Um, we're going for 365 days a year uh, uh, of uploads. 365 uploads this year, man. So we, 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 we have some dreams for 2017, man. So I hope you guys are going to be rocking with us throughout this whole time. And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, with that being said, the only thing left to do is build this car, man. Now, as far as the engine goes, like I say, we want to have these stock engines, so we are not going to be messing with any of these engine swaps today. The stock drivetrain, I am going to leave rear-wheel drive because I kind of want to hoon this thing around a little bit, so I think it'll be cool if we leave it with a rear-wheel drive platform. Now, this car comes naturally aspirated. As far as a supercharger or turbo go goes, we are going to leave this thing the way that it is. We are going to go for a naturally aspirated Hemi. See how much power we can get out of this thing. Now, as far as the front end goes, we can. looks like we can actually put on a base model Chrysler front end. Or we can add on the little splitter with the canards, which I think we are probably going to do there. As far as that rear wing goes negatory on the forza edition wing there um rear end as well we're gonna leave the srt8 rear bumper on there because why wouldn't we and the side skirts as well uh, no sense going back to a base model chrysler we're here for the big boy stuff man um now as far as the wheels go oh we do have it we have a horizon edition going on here um okay so apparently there is a horizon forza tire compound here so what i do want to do before we get going anymore is just go ahead and install this setup and check out oh no it looks like i thought for some reason we might have a body kit preset if there was a horizon edition tire but i guess there's just a horizon edition 300 maybe i'm not really sure i have not seen that car yet um, we are going to upgrade the tire width front and back just because and now comes the fun part. Now, we are looking for a dub style wheel being big chrome truck wheels. Now, right off of the bat, those Asantes just ring a familiar bell with my young self. Um, but we are going to keep looking here and see if we can find something a little bit different. Now, since we do not have any legit dub branded wheels in here, what I want to do is just go ahead and throw these big old Asante five spoke wheels on here, man. Big fan of those. I have a feeling these are going to be absolutely perfect for our build. I would like to go bigger than a 21. I mean, for dubs, like we're talking like 24s at, at a minimum, you know what I'm saying? Um, so 21 is kind of a modest size for a dub build. But nonetheless, once we lower it, I think we're going to be able to make this thing look pretty dope. Now, we are going to install a clutch on this thing, even though 
I do not even think these cars come in manual. Race transmission because we need that adjustment. As far as the differential goes, we are going to go ahead and upgrade that. Um, brakes, most definitely. A car this heavy is definitely going to need some braking. Um, as far as the race springs and dampers go, we are going to lower this thing down uh, just a little bit for now and then probably slam it a little bit later in the video. Um, obviously, this thing's going to need some weight reduction because this is like almost a 5,000 pound car. This thing needs a little bit of weight reduction. Now, as far as the engine goes, we did say we were going to completely max this thing out. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Um, as far as the engine goes, stock aspiration, so no turbocharger, no supercharger, but most definitely this thing is going to be making some power by the time we are done with it. Now, next up, uh, installing those valves. I already got the valves, my mistake. Race engine block, uh, go ahead and install those race pistons, oil cooling, and most certainly the flywheel. Now, this thing is looking like a beast, but there's just a few things that I wouldn't mind doing. We're going to go ahead and install this setup, 53,000 plus whatever I had on there before when I backed out for the tires. Probably close to like 70, 80 grand for this, which isn't too bad. Not really paying attention to the money. Now, a lot of people ask me how I got so much money. As you can see up there, $17 million, man. That is all grinding, bro. Uh, Goliath races. Now, to be honest, when I first got this game, the very first weekend that it came out, I was playing it all weekend. I probably put in a good, like, probably a good 10, 15 hours of just solid gaming strictly to get money in order to do these builds. Uh, you know, so I was kind of investing a little bit of time very early in the game. You know, I was playing it, enjoying the game nonetheless. But uh, yeah, and now. Basically, I just have a shit ton of cash and I am able to do these builds for you guys pretty much uh, whenever they come up. So now that we took care of the tuning, what I wouldn't mind doing is going into the design and paint section and painting this thing up. Now, mainly what I want to see done is just some black tint on here. And I would black out the hood on this car, but that's, you know, that's a little bit ricey for something like this. So we're just going to go ahead, save this to the current car, jump down to the apply decal section. And what I am going to do is just black out the roof here real quick. Now, if you guys have watched my video for any of uh, my videos, I should say for any amount of time, man, you guys will know how much of a fan I am of the blacked out roof so we're just going to go ahead and install that on our chrysler 300 now as far as the front bumper goes not going to do too too much but i do want to just get this little front diffuser section uh blacked out here so we're going to go ahead and do that accordingly um doesn't really have to be anything too perfect but i just want that splitter to kind of blend in with the lower grill area there um, so that's actually looking pretty good, man. I like the way that that's sitting there. So we're going to go ahead, save this to the current car and take this thing for a little bit of a rip here. Now, right off of the bat, I am such a big fan of this red color. Now, this for some reason, this color almost reminds me of a Altima SER, the code red Altimas, um, especially on this car. Almost the body lines kind not not. I don't want to say they're the same, but they're identical. Um, I guess that's almost the same thing, man. Um, but yeah, man, right off the bat, the looks of this car, um, looking absolutely dope. Interior view, very quiet, man. Now, 300 Cs, that guy was trying to kill me, man. 300 Cs, very luxurious cars right out of the factory, so it's no surprise that this thing is, uh, it, it's just super quiet inside. Very much like a Cadillac. Look at this guy, bro, that is ugly, man. Dare I say Rolls Royce, but not that Rolls Royce. Um, yeah, it just sounds very luxurious. Let's get a little launch happening here. That Hemi, man, just clapping, screaming, banking off of that rev limiter absolute beast let's get outside of this thing man oh spitting flames there now i did just order a set of test pipes for my personal vehicle 
that being a G35. So once I delete those catalytic converters, I'm hoping to spit some flames much like this thing, man. So fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, but wow, just a screamer, this thing. Oh yeah, man. Just coming up to that 7,000 RPM red line. You can really just hear this thing howling. Man, these, every time I play, these drive guitars just get more and more ignorant. I am telling you, man. She loves to get sideways too, man. But once those tires grip, it's all business, man. ripping around that traffic there I am actually thoroughly impressed with this car with it being such a giant big sedan you would think that it'd be very sloppy very all over the road very hard to control I mean I think I want to say a majority of our control is due to those giant tires that we have sitting out back but even when it's sideways man the thing is very very maintainable and for a naturally aspirated car, the thing hauls some ass too, man. Like, NA all day, as the people say. This thing is no exception. Very nice. I'm just, I don't even want to talk right now, man. I'm just having such a good time. Taking that corner on the inside. Passing traffic like it's nobody's business, man. Get out of my way, bro. What are you doing? Woo! See there, that the, the weight definitely came into play there. You could definitely tell that uh, we were starting to get a little bit squirrely around there. Kind of overshot the turn there. But nonetheless, man, as a, from, you know... As far as a point A to point B car goes, this is it, man. Like, this thing is great. I'm, you know, I would be surprised to see how it's going to do in some races. You know what I'm saying? These drive guitars, Forza. Where are these updates with these non-ignorant drive guitars, man? Um, yeah, I'd be surprised to see how this thing does in a race because it is such a heavy car, like I'm, I was saying. And, um... I just I have a funny feeling that in a race this thing would probably be a little bit too heavy to maintain but I mean as far as a nice little cruiser goes the thing looks absolutely mint sounds great I mean it's it stays on the road 90% of the time unless you're really getting a lot of speed and a lot of uh, you know momentum into the corner but aside from that man I'm totally happy with how this build turned out uh, you guys definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like I say, if you guys have any requests, also drop them down in the comment section. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Also, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed already, man. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So with that being said, I am your boy, d Nolly, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, as always. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Horrors! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh! For fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. I had a V8, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh. Ah. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.